this little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. This little mite of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. The church represented for us hope. It gave us hope that one day things would change. I was born and raised in Venice in my childhood. There was no place for the African Americans to really go. So that was the main function point at the First Baptist Church. So that was like a place that we always could go and feel safe and comfortable. We could go there and laugh and live and pray and cook and help other people. It meant a lot for us to see our uncles and grandfather working on that church. So it brought a lot of memories to the community. I know a lot of the elder people that gave their deeds up for collateral to, you know, get the loan to pay for the things to build the church. When you build a church in a community and the community helps to build the church, the church belongs to the community. The church uh, had been there for over a hundred years. Uh, so it, it has its place. Well, the church was illegally sold. It just seemed like a theft from the community. What do you mean they sold the church? How are you going to buy the church? People that still own the church still have deeds. They're, they're property owners. How is this church sold? I just said, I'm going to go over there and sit. That's the way I was raised, on sit-ins. And uh, I just started sitting there. I sat there for about two weeks before Pam Anderson came by and said, Laddie, what are you doing just sitting here? And when I just heard they wanted to tear the church down and build a house, I was just like, oh, heck no, this is our sanctuary. This is, this is not going to work. So she began to sit with me. And as it went, our group grew and grew and grew. So as a lot of people just came in and said, yes, I will help you fight this fight. Black lives matter. Church back, give the church back, give the church back, give the church back. We love you guys. Uniting with Black Lives Matter played a special part in us staying strong in fighting for the church. We need to look in a mirror. So Mike Bonin, it wasn't an easy process. Mike Bonin uh, did not initially support us. It wasn't easy, but I think after the George Floyd and all the unrest and everything, and once he seen how the people in the community came together after that unrest, and, and it was really helping smooth out things, because people were very, very nervous and scared. And I think it might have touched his heart. That's how the Holy Spirit works. This church has been the center of black life in the community from the very beginning. I met with a number of the, the elders in the community and it was a real moment of awakening. I want to thank the community for, for pushing so hard and holding me and holding the city accountable. This is a very exciting day for the community, the granting of a cultural historic designation to the First Baptist Church of Venice. I was so shocked. That's how God works. He can take your enemy and make him your best friend. He can also take your enemy and make him your footstool. Thank you, Mike. <laughs> the fight for the church means that there is hope, and when you have hope, you can fight, and when you fight, you win. It was a fight that was a correct fight that we needed to do in order to make life um, better for ourselves here because black prayers matter along with black lives matter. <laughs>